Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Timothy Carter. Thanks for joining me on the podcast. Today we're going to talk about ways to use someone else's blog for your own gain. The number of free resources available to business owners looking to improve their online visibility is is really astounding. You know, there are free integrations and data aggregation platforms like Google Analytics, profile and engagement platforms like almost every social media channel in the world and all kinds of tools that exist solely to make the processes of SEO, online branding, and marketing much easier. There are so many external tools that sometimes business owners forget what a rich network of resources exists in the form of outside blogs. There are many ways these industry-related blogs and articles can be used to bolster your own reputation and online marketing strategy. Number one, learn. My first suggestion is perhaps the most obvious, you know, read external blogs to learn more about your industry, as well as recent developments that could you you could harness for your own blog. The more resources you have to learn from, the more diverse and well read your blog becomes. Rather than, you know, copying or transforming any of the posts you read, you know, try reimagining a new angle for them. For example, if one of your indirect competitors, you know, takes a strong stance on a particular issue, uh, take the opposite stance or or examine an element of the argument that they didn't touch on. Otherwise, you can allow the new information to simmer in the back of your mind, you know, for occasional use in your in your future posts. Reading regularly uh, will make your writing more knowledgeable and therefore more authoritative. Uh, Collect a series of blogs to use for this purpose. You know, you can aggregate them using a a newsfeed application or simply have them as bookmarks in your web browser. You know, be sure to check them out on a regular, preferably, you know, daily basis, depending on how consistent they publish. Uh, Number two, guest posting is still one of the most effective online marketing strategies available especially if you're aligning your personal brand with your corporate brand. By by guest posting on an external site, you'll gain visibility with a new audience and borrow some of the authority of the best of the of the host site to propel your content forward. You know, Um, guest posting on on multiple sites can build an appeal with a mutually shared audience and eventually establish yourself as a leading and, and reputable authority in the field including links to your social profiles can can also help build your social following which in turn will boost your site traffic and brand recognition and including backlinks that that point to your main site can also boost your domain authority uh, getting getting your content posted on on external blogs isn't as hard as you might expect for for most external blogs all you'll need to do is ask the writer or webmaster for a guest posting opportunity and, and send along a pitch for, for a topic uh, they might find valuable. In some cases, you might want to build your reputation as a regular commenter first. Um, in, in others, you might want to include link building to your other content as, um, as an example of your work. Number three, uh, attract content. So the opposite strategy can also be effective, you know, rather than taking your content and, and guest posting it on popular external sites, you'll be offering the external blogs writer a spot on your own blog. While you may be reluctant to allow someone else's words and, and voice on your blog, especially if you spent a significant amount of time developing the perfect brand voice and, and blog platform, doing this is a mutually beneficial and highly valuable strategy. If your writer of choice uh, already has a substantial loyal audience, 
chances are that that audience would love to read the writer's new piece on your site. You know, that means an, an immediate flow of, of new traffic and new readers. Uh, plus, the writer will be motivated to publish links to his or her blog on your site on his or her social media profiles as well, which will add to your site's visibility and increase your domain authority at the same time. Finally, you know, having having multiple high profile writers post blogs on your site can make you seem more authoritative for new visitors. For example, if a new visitor, you know, you know, stumbles across your site through a simple search and sees multiple industry leaders featured on your blog, that visitor will more likely uh, to more likely they'll be more likely to associate your brand as as a leader in the industry. So, you know, tap into your your network. Uh, number four, comment. Commenting on on external blogs is is a very simple but powerful act. You know, back in the old days, you know, it was done for link building purposes. But you know, it, it may not seem like much, and a single comment isn't going to skyrocket skyrocket your brand visibility. But but over time, and when compounded with the effects of a consistent, frequent commenting strategy, your brand comments can you know, culminate in a, in a commanding effect and you can stand out in the marketplace. So when commenting, it's best if you use the power of a personal brand rather than your corporate brand. You know, so this, this will obviously encourage trust and, and more personal interactions with people, you know, comment appropriately, obviously adding value to the conversation when you can and including deep, deep links back to your site when possible. Uh, if you comment consistently, the audiences of your favorite blogs will come to see you as an important and valuable contributor to the community. And your corporate writing will get more attention as a result. Plus, you know, all your link building and brand mentions will increase your domain authority for SEO purposes as well. Number five, get reviewed. You know, um, this strategy is perfect for product based businesses though service-based businesses might also find a use for it as well. So when searching for a new product, most potential new users seek out reviews and opinions of their peers before making a final decision. And, and this is the case for practically any product in practically any industry. High, fro high profile bloggers whose blogs you're already reading on a regular basis tend to have the strongest opinions on these products and they carry the most weight with prospective buyers because of the level of respect they command. This is as true for uh, SEO bloggers in our niche as it is across other industries as well. How about offer a free sample of your product to one of these uh, high profile guest bloggers and in, in exchange for them uh, writing up an honest review on it. You know, the blogger will enjoy the free product as a gift. Hopefully the product is good. <laughs> and you'll enjoy the benefits of getting your product mentioned on the web. Hopefully the review will go well and that review posted will convince multiple new buyers to go with your product. Uh, and last but not least, you know, simply sharing the content, you know, of external blogs can be a beneficial strategy. Your social media campaign demands new posts at a near constant rate to satisfy your followers. So, you know, sharing an external article can take some of the pressure off you to make your own content. Sharing from multiple sources can convey a sense of connectedness. Building your own community from pools of different audiences and and showcasing your authority in the industry. Plus, you know, sharing content from an external source can regularly influence that source to respond by sharing some of your content in turn. So. You know, sharing content builds relationships and relationships are the driving force in strong online communities. While as a general rule, you can you can use any blog related blog related to your industry as a platform for these strategies. It's also wide uh, wise to avoid posting directly on a competitor's blog or direct competitor's blog, I should say. Doing so could mark you with a, a a negative reputation I mean it's possible in this day and age otherwise you know start taking advantage of other blogs as much as you can you know the more you build your brand in line with the network of bloggers around you 
the greater the uh, the greater your reputation will grow and the more traffic and leads you'll receive as a result and that will do it for today's episode so if you need some help uh, creating some of that new content you know come on over to seo.co and schedule a time to have a free consultation you'll learn how we can help you scale your ability to outright and outrank your competition Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.